Welcome to myiacademy.com. I'm Professor Mahfouz Hussain from Pakistan. This is fifth of the 12 lectures on the cardinal topography. Do subscribe the channel to see the upcoming videos. In this lecture, VPL 1.5, we will discuss the overall shape patterns on cardinal topography. This lecture is the result of study in which 1378 eyes of 700 patients were studied and 11 new shape patterns were identified which help to differentiate between the normal and abnormal corneas. Message from this lecture is bow tie is not the only normal pattern. You also have got the normal patterns on elevation and pecky maps or pachymetry maps and remember if you see a normal or abnormal pattern on a sagittal map then do confirm it with the elevation maps and the pachy map and it is not the bow tie which is the normal pattern it's a cool symmetrical bow tie which is a normal pattern and also cool uniform pattern also on the elevation map our glass appearance is a normal pattern in addition to the cool islands which will be described in the coming slides and the third is these are also cool central concentric rings on the pecky maps which is also a normal pattern so don't only look at the sagittal map do look at the pecky map and the two elevation maps they all together have normal or abnormal patterns. Let's see them one by one. Overall shape of the cornea is studied in four different ways, and that is the Q value, curvature maps, elevation maps, and pecky maps. So let's see them one by one. First of all, the Q value. Q value actually tells us the overall shape of the cornea and tells it whether it's a prolate normal cornea or slightly hyperpolate or oblate. So it gives the overall shape of the cornea. Then comes the curvature map. Remember, the normal shape is cool uniform or cool symmetrical bow tie. These are the normal shapes, while the abnormal shapes are hot symmetrical bow tie, asymmetrical bow tie, irregular bow tie, and then the some of the keratoconus patterns and some of the other recognized patterns that we'll discuss in the coming slides. Then the overall shape is also seen on the elevation map and the normal appearances are hourglass appearance and cool eye lens. Abnormals are hot eye lens, skewed hourglass appearance, irregular isolated eye lens or embryo or donut shaped appearance. Then on the pecky maps, the normal pattern is central cool concentric rings that we'll describe in the coming slide, while the abnormal patterns are hot concentric rings, horizontal displacement, dome-shaped, bell-shaped, and globus and irregular. So these are all the normal and abnormal patterns on the maps, particularly the curvature, elevation, and pecky maps. Now, out of these patterns, these four, the cool uniform, cool symmetrical bow tie, hot symmetrical bow tie, and red blood, we have described them. And we are also be describing the cool island pattern, hot islands, screwed hourglass, embryo, and donut shaped on the elevation maps. And we'll also describe the CCC rings and hot concentric rings on the pecky map. So let's see them one by one. First of all, the Q value. Q value gives us an idea about the overall shape of the cornea. Remember, the normal cornea is prolate in shape, like it is spherical in the center and slightly flatter at the periphery, and we call it prolate shape. And the value of minus 0.26 is considered normal or something less than that. Then if the cornea is protruded forward, we call it hyperprolate, and that's in a high myopic or high myopic corneas or keratoconic corneas. 
while the flatter cornea is called oblate and use, that's usually after the laser treatment. Look at these three pictures here. The first one, this one is minus 0 0.10. So it is in the normal range. Then minus 0 0.60 is in a suspicious range while the minus 1.08 is highly suspicious and highly suggestive of a keratoconus in the patient. Now, the second is the curvature map. Remember, the normal shapes are cool uniform or cool symmetrical bow tie. Why I'm using these term, I'll explain in a second. These two are not bow ties but these are cool uniform colors and it is a normal pattern most of the cornea which are having cool colors and uniform pattern or normal corneas then is the symmetrical bow tie i've added the word cool to that because symmetrical bow tie can be abnormal so symmetrical bow tie has to be cool Look at these yellow colors and green colors, yellow colors and yellow colors. So these three bow ties are cool symmetrical bow ties and that's another normal pattern. Then we come to the abnormal patterns. Look at that. This is asymmetrical bow tie. This one is a bow tie asymmetrical and hot bow tie. This is also asymmetrical bow tie. And this is also asymmetrical bow tie with a tilt on one side that we call srax. And this is an advanced srax. So these are all the abnormal patterns which are suggestive of keratoconus. So remember, the normal pattern is cool symmetrical bow tie and cool uniform patterns, while the rest of them are mostly abnormal patterns. This slide describes some of the recognized patterns and only one extra red blood pattern which we have added. Now, the first one is hot spot. The second one is oval hot spot. Then this is an exaggerated form of hot spot and the whole of the area is red. So we call it blood red pattern. Then is the irregular pattern superior strip and inferior strip. All these patterns are recognized patterns for the diagnosis of keratoconus. Then some other recognized patterns are junctional pattern, kissing bird or claw pattern, butterfly pattern and smiling face pattern. These patterns are seen in pellucid type of keratoconus or in pellucid corneal degeneration. Then comes the elevation maps. Remember, our glass is not the only normal pattern on elevation maps. Cool eye lens is also a normal pattern and most of the cornea having cool eye lens or normal corneas, I will explain that in a second. Then the abnormal patterns are hot eye lens, skewed hour glass, embryo shape, donor shape, and irregular eye lens. Let's see them one by one. This is an hourglass pattern, and it is a normal. It is like an hourglass, a full without any breakage in it, and it is a normal pattern. In addition to this, look at this. These two eye lens are in cool colors or blue colors. So these are cool eye lens, and this is a normal pattern while these islands are hot in color and this island is hot in color and this island is hot in color so the hot islands are abnormal pattern and suggestive of pathology while the cool islands are suggestive of a normal cornea this one is irregular which is again suggestive of abnormal cornea then comes the irregular pattern which is also abnormal and then comes this shape we have described is as an embryo shaped look at that embryo shaped embryo shaped 
this embryo shaped or skewed hourglass appearance is also abnormal form and then the finally this is the donut shaped with the red hot ring this shape is also an abnormal shape and highly suggestive of catacornus so our glass and cool eye lens or the normal corneas and rest of them are abnormal or probably keratoconic corneas then the third one is the packy map now remember ccc rings or we call it central cool concentric ring this is a normal pattern while concentric rings if they are hot in color they are abnormal pattern and i describe them in a second look at these photographs these ones are concentric rings this one is also concentric rings and this one is also concentric ring these concentric rings are cool in color and central so these ccc rings are central cool concentric rings or normal pattern look at these two these are also concentric rings this one is also concentric rings it's central but it is hot so the hot concentric rings are not normal cornea these are abnormal cornea while only a central cool concentric rings are normal corneas let's see more examples over here the rings are cool look at that yellow and green and blue so they are cool in colors but problem here it is they are not central so this is not central cool concentric so again an abnormal pattern over here also cool colors but it's displayed upwards so these rings are also hot rings and are not central so these are abnormal pattern and then the other patterns are this bell shaped pattern irregular pattern and inferiorly displaced pattern which are all suggestive of abnormal corneas and now allow me to explain what i described with examples let's start look at this one cool uniform cool central concentric rings and an hourglass appearance all these are normal shapes so this is a normal cornea here again cool uniform shape hourglass appearance hourglass appearance central cool concentric rings so this is a normal cornea which is confirmed by bell and embrasure display in this example on the sagittal map there's a hot spot appearance on the pecky map there are concentric rings but they're hot concentric rings and not cool and on the elevation map there's a donut appearance all these are suggestive of abnormal cornea or keratoconus which can be confirmed by bell and display then here is a cool bow tie look at that it is yellow and green in color so it's a cool symmetrical bow tie here is the hourglass appearance hourglass appearance on the elevation map and central cool concentric rings on the pecky map so it's a normal cornea which can be confirmed by the indices then here it is again a vertical cool bow tie on the posterior elevation is an hourglass appearance while on the anterior elevation is a broken hourglass appearance but on the pecky map they are cool concentric rings so it is indicative of a normal cornea now here again cool symmetrical bow tie and look at that the eye lens eye lens are now cool cool eye lens we have described them as a normal pattern and the concentric rings on the pecky map are also cool central concentric ring so this is a normal cornea which will be confirmed by the indices as it is here now remember 
I told you it is a bow tie, but this time it is not a cool bow tie, rather it is a hot symmetrical bow tie. It is symmetrical, but it is not cool, it's hot. So hot symmetrical bow tie is indicative of abnormal cornea. And look at the other maps. Elevation map is like an embryo, and the anterior elevation map is like a hot eye lens, and they are concentric rings, but these are hot concentric rings. All these are indicative of keratoconus, which can be confirmed by the indices. Here we have an inferior steep, hot concentric rings, embryo shaped, embryo shaped or tongues, so all are suggestive of keratoconus, which can be confirmed. Then red blood appearance, embryo shaped, embryo shaped, irregular heart rings, so it is again abnormal cornea, which can be confirmed. Next, in this patient, see the inferior steep, donut shaped, donut shaped and hot rings so it is abnormal cornea which can be confirmed next in this topography map there's a cool bow tie but this cool bow tie is horizontal remember vertical bow tie is with the rule astigmatism and is better than a horizontal bow tie horizontal bow tie may be suggestive of abnormal cornea maybe not always and in the elevation maps anterior elevation is a hourglass appearance while the posterior elevation is cool eye lens and they are concentric rings which are cool and central so most probably a normal cornea it is a normal cornea look at this one symmetrical oblique bow tie cool eye lens cool eye lens, CCC, or central cool concentric rings, so it's a normal cornea. Then, hot irregular bow tie, cool eye lens on the anterior elevation, but hot eye lens on the posterior elevation, and hot concentric rings, so most probably an abnormal cornea, which can be confirmed by the indices. Then it is inferior steep, cool eye lens, but hot eye lens on posterior elevation and hot concentric rings, which is again abnormal and it can be confirmed by the indices. Then in this example, it's a cool colors, cool uniform colors, but on the elevation map, posterior elevation shows an hourglass but the anterior elevation shows a donut pattern and the rings are hot concentric rings on pecky maps so it's most probably a pathological cornea and it can be confirmed by the indices remember here these two are normal but these two are abnormal but as a whole the cornea is catoconus so let's recap what we just described. First of all, see the Q value gives, which gives an idea about the overall shape of the cornea. Then on the curvature maps, cool uniform and cool symmetrical bow tie is normal, while the rest of the patterns are suggestive of abnormal cornea. On the elevation maps, hourglass appearance or cool eye lens is suggestive of a normal cornea, while the rest of the patterns may be suggestive of abnormal cornea. And at the end, on the pachymetry maps, CCC rings or central cool concentric rings are suggestive of normal cornea, while the rest of the patterns may indicate towards the pathology. Thank you very much for being with me and do subscribe to the channel to see the more videos. Thank you.